Hello everyone. Welcome to week 1 learning about electrics. Today, we're going to explore the basic elements that power our world. Electricity is a fascinating subject, full of mystery and wonder, and it's all around us, powering everything from the smallest gadgets to the largest machines. Let's start with the basics. What do you think happens when you flip a switch and a light turns on? Yes, you're right. Electricity flows through a circuit. A circuit is like a path or a loop through which electricity travels. The heart of this path is the battery, which acts like a pump, pushing electricity through the circuit. But what makes the bulb light up? That's where the magic of the switch comes in. The switch controls the flow of electricity, turning it on and off just like opening and closing a water tap. Electricity, think of it as a flow of tiny particles called electrons that move through wires. These electrons carry energy from one place to another, lighting up our bulbs and powering our toys. Circuit, for the electrons to move, they need a path or a loop, which we call a circuit. It's like a race track for electrons. If the track is broken, the electrons stop, and the light or toy won't work. Battery, this is like a big storage box for electrical energy. Inside a battery, there's a special kind of chemistry that creates energy. This energy is waiting to be used to light up a bulb or make a toy car go. Switch, a switch is like a door for electricity. When the door is open, switch is off, the electrons can't move because the circuit is broken. When the door is closed, switch is on, electrons can zoom around the circuit. Bulb, inside a bulb, there's a thin wire that gets really hot when electrons flow through it. When it gets hot enough, it starts to glow and gives off light. Now, let's get hands on. Imagine you have a battery, a bulb, and some wires. How do you think we can connect them to light up the bulb? Yes, by creating a simple circuit. But what happens if the circuit is broken or incomplete? The bulb won't light up, because the electrical flow is interrupted, just like water stops flowing if there's a break in a hose. Electricity flows through materials, right? But not all materials conduct electricity the same way. Some are conductors, like metals, which let electricity flow through them easily. Others are insulators, like rubber or plastic, which resist electricity and help keep us safe from electric shocks. Now, let's pair up and dive deeper. I want each pair to discuss and match electrical components with their functions. Think about current, which is the flow of electricity, and voltage, which is the force that pushes the current through the circuit. How do these relate to our simple circuit with the battery and bulb? 